Hey there. So I've reviewed hundreds of health coach websites, and I have to say one of the things I notice is they often have absolutely gorgeous pictures on them, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're good pictures to use on the website. Now, that's one of the things I discussed with my guest, Beth Kendall, on an episode of Website Wednesday Live. Now, if you're new to me, my name is Nicole Piper. I'm a former brand marketing executive, and I helped turn brands like Nickelodeon, MTV, and The Sharper Image into multi-million dollar businesses around the world. But I left the corporate world because I really wanted to pursue my passion for natural health and wellness. And I'm now a health and wellness copywriter and brand strategist. And I took everything I learned about developing and marketing powerful brands, and I adapted it all to help health coaches just like you. And since then, I've helped over 500 coaches build low maintenance, six and even seven figure businesses. So they're free to focus their time on other things they want to do, like spending time with people they love, you know, doing other things and, you know, maybe just doing more of the good work they're doing out there in the world. So in today's video, I brought back another episode of Website Wednesday Live. And one of the things I loved about my conversation with Beth is how it really got her thinking about her website in a new way. And you'll see it as when you, you'll see like her gears, you know, actually turning as, as we were talking. So we talked about, um, in, you know, important things to think about when picking pictures for your website, how to create a great headline that will get people really curious to read your site and stay on it instead of clicking away, and how to find that right balance between, you know, saying too much and saying too little on the homepage, and that's really essential. So if you're short on time, click to the settings gear and double the playback speed. And of course, if you like the video, please let me know by hitting the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you know when I post another video. All right, now on to Website Wednesday Live with Beth Kendall. Okay, hello, I'm Nicole Piper and I help health and wellness coaches book more clients by turning their skills and expertise into a highly marketable business. Now, part of that means having the right marketing assets and your website is one of the most important ones. So today I'm joined by Beth Kendall. Beth is a holistic sleep coach. Hi, Beth. Hi, Nicole. So good to be here. Yes, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And um, to get us started, I'd love if you could tell us a little bit about where you are on your journey of building your health coaching business and you know, how long you've been doing it and, you know, what areas you're kind of struggling with now, if any. Yeah. So, okay. So, you know, how so many people are dealing with chronic sleep issues these days. I am a holistic sleep coach and I help people find the unconscious reasons that they're not sleeping. And then I use neuroplasticity based methods to help them rewire their brain for sleep. So I help people maximize their sleep and fall in love with sleep again. Um, I've been at this for about a year. Um, and where I would really love your expertise is getting people to hang around, hang in my website, like stick around and look around and just get beyond just the homepage because I'm getting them to the homepage, but they're not really moving around my site. So I would love to hear what you have to say about that. Well, fabulous. Okay. That, that's great. Cause I have some ideas around that. So how are you actually getting them to your site now? Um, I would say mostly blog traffic and then um, some social media and then just the communities that I'm, that I'm a part of. Okay. Most, yeah. So yeah, I know. Um, I, I know a few people who have insomnia and yeah, it is, it's crazy what it does to them. It's just really, yeah. yeah. yeah it's just so foundational to everything else in life. So when you're sleeping better, like everything else gets better with it. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here and bring up your site. And there we go. Okay. So hopefully you see your site there. I do. Okay, good. All right. So um, first of all, tell me about who your perfect client is. Like what, what age? Um, give me a little more background about them. Yeah, I would say um, my perfect client generally will probably be between the ages of 45 and 65, or maybe even 40 to 65. Um, usually people that have struggled with a more chronic sleep issue for six months or more, they're usually people that have already tried everything out there in terms of like sleep hygiene or 
um, external things like supplements, medications. Um, yeah, both men and women. Um, okay. Yeah. This would be a good idea. Um, so the first thing I'm going to say here is mm -hmm. picture as much as I love this picture. This mm -hmm. is your perfect client. Well, I missed that last part, Nicole. Yes, this isn't your perfect client. Yes, they're younger. I've thought about that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so that um, a, a picture that shows people that are more, you know, in your age group. Mm -hmm. Other thing I was thinking of, I, I, it's a really cool picture. I love it. Um, but it, they've got mugs in their hands, which could be, you know, tea or, <laughs> you know, so it's kind uh -huh. of, you know uh -huh. subconsciously it's kind of like, yeah, they look like they're chilling out, having fun. Uh huh. You know, they're, if, are they drinking caffeine because they didn't get a good night's sleep? You right. know. So there's, there are all these like little things like that, that, uh -huh. that they'll send like a subconscious, speaking of subconscious, a subconscious message, you know, mm -hmm. you want to make sure that the picture that the pictures that you use on your site are really sending the message that you, that you want. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. okay, great. Yeah. So you can find a, a different one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now. Um, you mentioned something really important. So they, they've tried everything. And I know that that's like, that's a thing with, with people with insomnia. Like they, they, they start, <laughs> they start with like the lavender and things like that and work their way up and, and yeah, it can be, it can be tough. Yeah. What you want is a stronger headline here and maybe something that actually mm -hmm. addresses the fact that they've tried a lot of things already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You want to kind of, you know, um, uh, you know, cut off any objections that they might have, or you want to have something, you know, it's definitely got to be benefit oriented. So here, you know, this actually almost sounds like it'd be a great tagline. Life starts with great sleep, mm -hmm. you know, better yeah. than, um, than a headline. So a headline, you know, it could be something like, um, you know, how you can get restorative sleep naturally in six weeks or less or whatever it would be mm -hmm. uh, even if everything else you've tried has failed oh. uh, say you know even if you know x y and z has failed so th think about like the, really the the things that people are they've tried and it's just like they yeah. feel like they've even brought out the big guns and it hasn't worked yet yes i love that Okay, so that's going to be kind of a, um, that's going to change us a little bit. That will at least kind of get them curious to hear more, right? Yeah. Yep. So tell me this, this sleep quiz is, I actually took it. Um, it's, it's really, um, it's, it's cool. But the thing is, I'm thinking, um, you know, why should I take it? Mm -hmm. you know, how am I going to benefit? Like what, what's this quiz going to tell me? other than what I already know, which is I can't sleep. You know what I mean? Is there something um, like, is there, yeah. you know, is there something that, you know, um, I don't know, like they're like the results are going to, oh, here's an idea. Like, are there, like, can you categorize sleepers? Actually, I think you had that because you had it before, right? Yeah. I had it broken down into three different, like excellent sleepers, sleepers that could use a little work and then sleepers that really need a lot of, a lot of help. Um, and then I, I did do quite a few in the results, you know, quite a few sleep tips in the results. So maybe, at, you know, if they want some sleep tips, take, or I think the name of the quiz is how well do you really sleep? Okay. So, okay. That would actually be really interesting for someone like me. I, think I sleep great. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, am I really sleeping well? You know, mm -hmm. am I, am I really getting enough REM? Yeah. You know what I mean? So that, that might be, that would be like a good title. I think kind of intriguing for someone who thinks they sleep well. And then you kind of want to put that seed of doubt in there, in their mind. Right. Sound like your person, your person already knows they can't, they can't sleep. Right. So, um, perhaps, all right, let me ask you this. Um, is there, do you think there's like a missing piece, um, to the common approaches for mm -hmm. with insomnia? I do. I think that, um, you know, I take a real mind body approach, a very holistic approach, and there are other mind body 
programs out there, but they don't have that subconscious element. And a lot of times um, there are things that happen beneath our conscious awareness that are factoring into our sleep that people may not even realize. So they need a coach to help them sort of tease that out. And I don't see that particular element in any other programs out there. Okay, so that's something that I would love to see more of on here. So that mm -hmm. there, there's a hidden reason that they're oh, yeah that they're not um yeah that they're that they're not nothing that they've tried has worked. There's some kind of missing link in the common approaches. And if there's new research that backs it, I mean, that would be really cool. So um, I think, you know, you talking a little bit more about that. So it's basically, it's not their fault. They've tried everything. Yeah. Yes. It's not yeah. their fault. Yeah. Um, these things haven't worked because they're not addressing the real problem. And there's, you know, there's, um, you know, you can work on how you're going to frame it. You know, there, there's a hidden reason why people who have, you know, chronic insomnia aren't getting relief from the other, you know, the traditional or popular right? Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. Yes. Okay, cool. So now um, let's see. So um, one thing here, uh, first of all, I loved that you, you got your three-step process down here. Um, and I love that you have this, okay, what makes my approach different? So that's great. But I think you want to get more of that up here. Because again, they know that like we, we don't, we want to kind of stay away from stating the obvious. They know if they get better sleep, they're going to feel better, you know? Right. And so instead let's kind of address some of these things where they, they're going to have some objections and give them kind of a reason to believe that your approach is, is different. So I would write, you know, spend this part up here, right under, uh, right under the, the image kind of talking about what's missing or mm -hmm. they're hidden. And don't tell them what it is though talk is just say the missing piece to it and if you don't address that nothing else you try is going to work um and then you can say i've actually created a three-step system that gets right to the heart of mm -hmm. um you know sleep troubles mm -hmm. uh, and then so let me get down here and then i would actually kind of have your three-step system but here I think you've actually told them too much okay, the way okay. That you get them into your site yeah something that just gives it at a, a, at a much higher level mm -hmm. so it could be something like you know step one remove you know um so then underneath you could say something about you know um you know there are I'm making it up you know six different hidden sleep blocks. You've got to find out which one you have and remove it. Mm -hmm. Then maybe do is rewire. So you, you know, um, rewire your nervous system yes. to, um, you know, to help you fall asleep and stay asleep. Um, and then the third one could be, you know, restore your body's natural sleep cycle. So you wake up feeling rested and recharged, something mm -hmm. like that. And then have a, um, find out more. And, or you could have like a little sentence underneath or a couple of sentences that then talks about the benefits of this, you know, mm -hmm. to, you know, um, with these three steps, you know, you will, um, you know, you'll completely um, reprogram your body for restful sleep. And, you know, you'll, you'll wake up um, with all and, you know, have all day energy, whatever it is, so you'll come up with some kind of statement, and then you'll say, you know, and continue reading, right? Okay. Or find out more. And then you can go into some of this. So that's actually okay. your about page. I know a lot of people kind of focus on their about page thinking it's about them. It could also be about your system. So I think it can be, you start off about, about you. I would, I would move most of your story mm -hmm. um, over to your about page. Okay. Make this be more about, um, let's see here, something with um, well, this is good. I mean, you do have the story here that you had um, chronic insomnia. Mm -hmm. um, once I start understanding, okay. So then here, again, you could kind of tease it a little bit. It wasn't until I um, started to understand that there were hidden blocks that actually were um, preventing me from, you know, pre preventing my body from getting into that um, state it needed to be in order to fall asleep and stay asleep then yeah, read more. And then you take them over to your about page. 
Mm -hmm. over there. Um, okay, because so you take them over to the about page. And then here, yeah, you would actually, you know, start a little, you could continue a little bit more with your story, but then you could really get into the system. So here you could kind of talk about the discovery. Right. You know what I mean? And okay, okay. yes. Yeah. And then, I mean, if you know, you can th then talk about, um, you know, you could even have like a little bio section about, you know, your credentials. Mm -hmm. um, but for the most part, I would make, make the about page be about your system system yeah and just kind yeah. of different yes that makes total sense cool okay let me see i think that uh let me just like jot it down a few notes i think those are the main things that yeah the main things i wanted to get to okay. so, um yeah and so in the quiz um yeah so it, it, you might want to just change it a little bit so if they're like if there's a instead of a category of sleeper, like maybe there's a, a way that you have certain categories of blocks. Right. Um, oh, yeah. So something where, you know, if there are some questions that they could answer where you could kind of say, okay, it sounds like you're a category one sleeper. That means your hidden blocks could be caused by, you know, and you could give a bunch of, you know. Huh. Or find your, find your subconscious sleep blocks or something more in line with what I specialize in. Yeah. 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 That, okay. Yes. Love it. <laughs> cool. Okay. And then, you know, um, you can have, I think it's definitely good to have like, you know, um, you know, a, a work with me or get started or something like that. So you can have, you know, take the, the sleep um, quiz. So that's that's really kind of your opt-in, right? So to get people's. Yeah. Um, and then you can also just have like the, a start with me where they can, let's say, either book a call or whatever it is that you would want them to do next. Right. Okay. Okay, great. Amazingly, I've, I've been surprised that most of my opt-ins on my homepage have been from the newsletter at the bottom, which kind of surprises me and I thought the quiz would do very well and it it has not done that well I'm not sure why but now, I'll tell you one thing is it gave me the option of putting in my email oh so it's just like yeah so this so it's like, yeah so I see. Um, if I remember correctly I think I could skip that and not give you my email and still get oh. my calls yes I you liked that no yeah, well well I mean yeah, well, it's great if I don't want to get emails. Yeah, <laughs> up for an email list. Right. So you could, you know, you could actually make it that the only way they can get the results is right. if they right your email. Yes. So, but that's interesting. So you you get more opt-ins from yes, that's really which really surprises me because I consider it a you know um, I don't take that lightly asking for someone's email address and you know, they're, they're wanting to get more, you know, to get my newsletter. And I'm just kind of surprised that the quiz didn't do as well, but this, this little part in my, in my site has gotten the most response. So that is, that is interesting. I'm not, I'm not sure if there's a word in there or a, the, just the way the words are together that they're, you know, wanting to know more. I'm not sure. It's always interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, so Huh. Yeah. I would, I mean, so I would definitely keep that there. And yeah. If you, if you actually require, if you start requiring an email address to get the quiz results. See if that changes things. Yep. Tell how many people take the quiz versus yeah. how many people opt in from there, from the quiz. Can I tell? Yeah. They, they have pretty good analytics on that quiz. So I'd be curious to see, like, are there, you know, um, is it only, you know, 25% that actually give you their email address from the quiz? Uh, so, and then maybe you can gauge, you know, are there, are there more people, people taking the quiz than there are opt-ins that you're getting for your newsletter? Right. Because um, then you can see which one, you know, like if you actually change it so that they have to um, give their email address to get the quiz results, then maybe that would be, 
you know, the way to go. And you wouldn't, you wouldn't then need this newsletter, but I would, I would definitely check and see, cause if this is working, like we don't want to change something. <laughs> right. Right. Absolutely. But again, I think one of the things is um, I would definitely look at the analytics because, because I'm not sure how I would benefit by taking the, the sleep. Yeah. Quit. I think, I, I think there's just not that much information now that I see it from a different standpoint, which this is great. Um, why would they even click on that? Like just take the sleep quiz, quiz just sort of hanging there might not be that much incentive. <laughs> um, but if I give them a reason why they should take it, that that would be, you know, helpful. Yeah, exactly. So. Cool. Okay, yeah. Let's stop the share. So, um, I, I mean, overall, I think, you know, your site is really clean and easy to read, at least the home pages. And I think that's really, really awesome. And, um, so hopefully you got, uh, got the sense of, you know, if you, if you, you know, use the homepage to kind of give just enough information and then, but not so much, they feel like they have all the answers yes. and, you know, another place to go so they can find out more further into your site. I think that's going to help. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. Love it. Excellent. Okay, Beth. Well, this was fun. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope these suggestions were helpful. And um, if you implement them, I'd love to know how it works out. All right. And thank you, Nicole, because I am such a fan and you have helped me so much with my website. So thank you for all these lives. And really, it's kind of an honor to be on here. So thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I'm so glad. Okay. Right. Take care. Bye. Bye.